Hey, what's up After Effects users? This is Phil Ebner with a great tutorial. Luke on Facebook asked, how do you attach a line or a part of a shape to something moving in the background? Say you have video or a photo like this one and you want part of a shape to be attached to it, to stay with that background. Well, it's not as easy as one may think and there might be a better option, but I've tried to do this before in the past, but you can't attach basically a point in a path to a null object. And I would do that because then I could just track the motion in the background of this background image. I would apply that motion to the null object and then parent the shape layer, so this point in the shape layer, to that null object so that it would move with this background. Well, that's not possible, so we have to figure out another way. And thankfully in After Effects, there's always a different way to do things. And this time, I'm just using simple keyframes to do it. So as you can see here, we have different layers, but specifically, just look at these two dots, the two circles, and then this line that grows out from the circles. It moves with the background. So how did I do that? Just four keyframes. If I bring up my keyframes for the circles and lines tab, you can see actually different keyframes, but if I just bring up the position keyframes for this circles, you can see that I just added a keyframe right here at the beginning and then at the end. If I delete that end keyframe, you will see that the circles stay in place, but I just moved it with the background. Okay, and then with the line, I added keyframes to the path. So if you go into the path, I'm just going to delete this last keyframe and then go to the first keyframe. So if you select your, your path, you can select different points in your path and move them around. So say I go way up here, you will see that it grows from way up there. So basically what we're going to do is have it grow from the center of the circle right there and there's a keyframe set already and then go to the end of the animation and move it to the center of the circle there. So now it is attached or appears attached and you might have to play around to get it perfect but it's attached to the circle which looks like it's attached to the background. Okay so it's actually a very simple concept but I can't find a better way to do it right now but if any of you have a better idea, please let me know because I would love to find out a better way to do this. So if you're also interested in learning this tutorial, I'm going to create a tutorial about how to create a call out title like this one. Check out an the other video on the YouTube channel. Just head over to youtube.com slash video school online or the Facebook page, facebook.com slash video school online dot video school online and you'll find this cool tutorial on how to create this entire pop-up call-out title. So thanks again, Luke, for the question. I hope this answered it for you, and we'll see you in another tutorial.